Hey Greens, today we're going to be doing a bonus video. Yes, bonus, bonus content. content! We're going to be reacting to artists and crafters using my own craft kit. For those of you new here, this is not the usual type of content. Usually I do silly things like weird types of crafts with resin or clay, and sometimes I review craft kit. But if you are new here, be sure to subscribe and you'll become part of the Salt Shaker family in which each of us is a grain of salt. And for those of you who don't know, yes, I do have a craft kit called Not Another Crap Kit. Yes, which means there's only seven days left. Which, Q montage, has everything you need to create some really fun characters made with beginners in mind. And if you're advanced, you can have so much fun. Basically, you get a mold that looks like this that was hand sculpted by me that you can turn into a figure that looks like that. And then you can customize it to the numerous amazing different types of sculptures and figurines that you want. I'll leave a link for that down below, but I'll also leave the link for all the videos of my amazing artsy and craftsy friends down below. Make sure that you do check them out. If you haven't subscribed to them, subscribe to them. These are people I call friends and I am super nervous but excited to see them use the craft kit because sometimes when you create something you're like, yes, I have thought of everything. And then someone else uses it and you're like, well, that's not what I thought. <laughs> So without further delay, we're going to start with Ace of Clay. And small story of how I actually got to know Ace of Clay was because some people were sending me messages and DMs and like, there's a crafter who's copying you. And I'm like, whoa, who's copying me? I'm gonna, I'm gonna fight him. Get here and fight. So then I go and see Ace of Clay. I'm like, this dude's like not copying me at all. This guy is like a hundred times more talented than I am. So if anything, props to him. I need to get to know him because he's awesome. And since then, we actually became really close friends. So I gotcha. <laughs> and if my past lesson with my sister crafting with my craft kit is an indication of anything, is that I am a backseat crafter. But you know that I'm making it alone. You have to let me make my mistake. <laughs> So I want to hop in and help, but now I am absolutely helpless and we're just going to watch and I'm going to also self critique my own stuff in there. And without further delay, let's go ahead and put me aside. Hey everyone, Ace of Clay here. Welcome back to my channel. But if you're new here, I'm a sculptor and every week I make a new sculpture. So be sure to hit that like button and subscribe so that you don't miss any future videos. Today I will be using Nerdy Crafters brand new craft kit that she sent me. It is called Not Another Crap Kit. Ace of Clay is one of the most sweetest people I have ever met even when we went to VidCon. It was really fun. I can't wait to hang out with everyone again. I kind of like that little salty crafter popping in and out of nowhere. Very cute. Check it out. Now this is actually a first impressions video. I have not looked at this thing. The funny thing is, is that he's doing a first impressions to actually open it. And I haven't actually seen the box with the instruction guide on top. I've been receiving everything here and there, testing everything here and there, but as a whole fresh package, I'm seeing it as it is now. So basically, this is important for me to know what it's gonna look like in case I wanna make changes. So, instructional booklet, check. I think there's stickers. So if you greens are interested in seeing what goes inside the entire kit, I'll definitely leave you to watch the rest of his video. But let's get to the crafting part of this video. I'm so excited to see what he's gonna make. So, holy cow, or should I say holy carp? <laughs> <laughs> Of course you would say holy car. I just want to thank um, Jackie, of course, for sending me this amazing kit. I cannot wait to start creating something out of it. And I am so proud of you. You've come so far and you deserve all of the success and amazing things that are on their way to you. And I am so, so proud of you. This is amazing. And I'm honored to be your friend. So. Thank you. Oh my God. Like I have some of the best friends out there. Seriously. Stop saying nice things to me. I can't handle compliments. I'm a sap. Don't do this to me now. I'm honored to be your friend. Holy carp. Okay, let's let's keep going. I, I can't take compliments, Grains. Don't do this to me. I can't. <laughs> And I probably should have said that at the beginning of the video that the whole, I think, point of this craft kit is to create your own character based off of this character blank that we are going to cast and mold. You're not just buying like one vinyl figure that you're customizing, you know, you can make as many of them as you want. You can reproduce them until 
you can't reproduce them anymore. That's basically it. The whole kit is the idea is as many things in there are reusable. That's why we have silicone tools and they're rewashable, reusable. I wanted to make as many things reusable as possible so that you can take it beyond the kit. You don't feel like the kit is over and then what? You, you have the opportunity to reuse as much as possible. So prep your workspace. You will need exclusive mold, casting compound, by the way, in case you're wondering, this kit also comes with exclusive videos. So I don't know if he's going to watch the videos later on, but there is a QR code that's going to bring you to a very special playlist that shows you exactly what to do in video format. So if you don't want to read instructions, kind of like me, I'm not a huge fan of just reading instructions. I like seeing someone do the thing. You do get a list, a playlist of video instructions of how to use the kit. <sighs> All right, we've got our water. I'm really bad at following instructions. I know he's saying he's really bad at following instructions, but the good news is, is that the permastone is great at beginner friendly. I've messed it up on purpose to see how much I can mess it up and get away with it. And yes, you can get away with still making a figure and messing up. So we need to fill this up with plaster. I don't have much room for error, but this seems really easy and straightforward. So I think we'll be fine. Let's go back to that phase. I think we'll be fine. If there is a face of uncertainty and I can recognize it, this is it. Don't worry. <laughs> I told him, you, you can message me anytime you want. But again, I have the backseat crafter syndrome, so I'm just gonna stay away from that. So I'm going to pour this into my bowl. <laughs> Make a huge mess, of course. Okay, now I'm going to measure three ounces of water. All right, there we go. Easy enough. Mix the plaster and water with the spatula. Be sure to get all the- Oh no! <laughs> I just realized he did skip one of the instructions. That's just me. Sorry, Ace of Clay. You're supposed to prepare the mold first. So you're supposed to first put it together, make sure that the pieces are interlocked, and then put the rubber bands, and then pour the plaster. <gasps> oh no, I hope he's gonna have enough time. Now I'm worried because I see the mold over there. Look at it. It's sitting on the edge of the desk but it's not prepped yet. Oh my God, this is making me nervous now. Look at that, look at that creamy milk-like texture. Mmm, taste, oh my God. All right, it's gotta be good. Okay, now I'm going to put my mold together. He really made it like super secure. Good on him. The plaster comes off though, if I remember correctly from my experience with it, which I don't have a ton of experience with it. <laughs> that salty crafter on the edge. <laughs> but I have used it before and I'm pretty sure it just turns to dust. No! <laughs> That you easily, um, oh, no. oh shell. <laughs> no! <laughs> Ace of Clay! I know he said he doesn't like following instructions, but just in case, the instructions do say do not pick up the mold, <laughs> shake the base of the mat in order to get air pockets out. I love that he picked it up and it just flew, and now there's a little spot on his face. Very nice touch on your face. So oh, messy. Um, she did say that if this stuff, if you didn't clean it, if this is hard, that's a good indicator that your mold is hard too. Um, that's good. And of course I'm, you know, one of those people that doesn't clean things right away. And that's a good thing. Don't try to pour and clean plaster in your sink. Let it harden, pop it right out and throw it in the trash. Please, please be cured. Please be cured correctly, please. Oh, look at that. Not bad. Okay, yeah, we got a... By the way, for those of you wondering, the holes in the back, these are not bubbles. The holes in the back are actually there if you want to make wings or a tail. Since I designed this mold myself, I made sure that you can insert wires where you need to. If you don't want it, you can definitely easily hide it with the with the clay, so. But yeah, air pockets are very normal when using any kind of plaster, so you're totally okay. There we go. Awesome. Make a little... Steampunk, kind of robot looking guy. I'm just gonna have some fun with it. I like the fact that he's going with his steampunk character because he is known for having these steampunk owls. I love his creations, especially the steampunk ones. So I'm really curious how he's going to go. I've been avoiding looking at the thumbnail. So I had someone else click the video for me so I don't have to stare at the thumbnail. So now I know the theme is going to be steampunk. Very interesting. That clay adhesive all over the surface of the face, which is the part we're gonna do first. All right, so I think what I wanna do is I wanna put some type of like rocket launcher on this hand. 
So I'm gonna cut out this sort of like helmet shape and then I think I'm just gonna cut off this layer in the shape that I want. Oh, that is really interesting. I really love the fact that he cut into the clay. You can make like a space character too. This is, that is a really cool idea. Not gonna lie, I have never used UV resin that cured this quickly before. Normally I just use the kind that takes like 15 minutes. So this is really cool that it's only gonna take me 30 seconds, so. I'm so proud that he's actually using the UV resin, even though it's his first time and he's a little intimidated. This is great. Let's see if that did it. Oh my god, it worked. Yeah. What the heck? What? Even though this is his first time using UV resin, and he was impressed. I'm happy that he's impressed because it really does take 30 seconds just to make a whole cabochon, and you can make them infinitely as long as you have UV resin, and that's why I like the ones from Sophie and Toffee. They're made specifically for silicon molds. I'm the type of person that hates change. Trying something new never really interests me that much, I guess you could say, unless I'm like forced to. <laughs> unless I'm forced to. Ace of Clay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I forced you. So far, you're doing pretty good. And just explore something new because this is extremely gratifying right now. Like, I just made my own cabochons with resin that cures in 30 seconds, and the paint that I used to paint the back of it went on like butter. Like, come on, I know it sounds little, but I think it's amazing. There's something to be said about when you're crafting and things just go smoothly. And that's the thing that I really love about having put this kit together is that the flow of things that you make really shouldn't stop you. You don't have to wait 24 hours for the plaster to be done. You don't have to wait 12 hours for the resin to be done. These are just making so that your flow of creativity is consistently just kind of going. So I'm glad he likes that. I'm gonna go ahead and Press him into the head. Oh, I love that he's actually securing it with clay around it. I normally would just put a little bit of the liquid Sculpey and then push it in, but this is probably a better idea. What a gloomy day today. The only ray of sunshine is this kit from Nerdy Crafter. Oh. <laughs> I love the fact that he's just really constantly adding snakes of clay. By the way, that's his merch, so if you're interested, check his merch link down below. And he's just constantly building onto the figurine. And I think that's one of the things that us creatives, when we're starting, sometimes it's like, where do I start? Just start, you'll have fun. And this is actually a nice way to like disguise an uneven surface. <laughs> Like instead of sitting here and smoothing this out for five hours, I'm just going to add this texture and that solves the problem and it creates another level of dimension. I absolutely love the vibe that this character is getting. I hadn't thought of robotic metallic kind of vibe. It's looking really cool. It's kind of giving me Mega Man vibes with like that arm that can shoot. That is really cool. The whole lace thing on the arm, that's really cool. That is so cool. That is really neat. I did not think of making a tube with the wires like that. Oh my god, Ace of Clay, you are a genius. Honestly, Greens, if you are not following him, subscribe to him, check him out. He is so talented when it comes to sculpting. I am a little envious with his technique. All right, so now he's on to the paint section of this sculpture. He started with a nice black base. Oh, okay, so I can see that in the background, he still has the same kind of paint that I use, which is the jacquard paint, and he's using silver. I wanted to add silver, but choosing 10 colors out of a spectrum of like hundreds of colors is really hard to do. So there's no silver, but you do get gold and you do get different metallic colors. It was really hard to try and narrow it down to 10 colors. I mean, the palette itself only has space for nine, so we had to put the red on the side. <laughs> so it's there. I love this um, metallic bronze. It's a very nice like coppery looking color. And this color, wait, is that the bronze or the gold? I'm not sure, but you do get the gold of this of this paint. The jacquard paints are, honestly, they're just butter. They're gorgeous. Oh my god, it's looking so good. And he's done. Oh wow, this looks so good. I absolutely love the fact that he did like the indented with the ball tool. It's looking super cool. I would have never personally thought to make something like that, so it's really cool seeing what he made. Thank you so much, Ace of Clay. I love seeing what you made. Next, we have one of my other favorite people, Graveyard Loon. He is hilarious. 
He is such an amazing addition to the art and craft community. He started recently on YouTube and he is hilarious, just so wholesome and absolutely sweet and supportive of all the other channels. And his video is called Giant Craft Kit Unboxing and Review. And I love his thumbnails. They have like this Comic Sans type feel. I know a lot of people take a poo on Comic Sans, but there's something playful about, I'm pretty sure that's not the font he's using, but it has this playful look and that there's the contrasting color with the before and after it's just visually very pleasing he is hilarious with his editing holy carp the amount of effort that goes into the editing is beautiful it's hilarious all right let's see what he made with this kit today is a special day on the dark side a fellow dabbler in the dark arts <coughs> nerdy crafter oh that's why he asked me about the <laughs> He's like, hey, does anyone know where the belly dancing nerdy crafter is? I'm like, yeah, it's this video. He's like, uh-huh. I see you. I'll see you now. So here's the box. Did I take a sneak peek? Yes. <laughs> that, that awkward pause gets me every time. Yes. Yes. Mexi, open and do it. Oh, the eye contact. Anyways, there's a letter in here with Chip and Dale on it. <laughs> does this mean that... We're best friends. <laughs> yes, yes, we're best friends now. BFFs all the way. Let's see what my best friend gave me. An instructional booklet. <laughs> you made me snort. Oh, you're just, you're hilarious. Also, Jackie is doing this little resin Nyan Cat keychain giveaway. It's one of her original creations, and basically if you get the craft kit, you have a chance at winning one. I guess I didn't win that. That's unfortunate. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't know you wanted one. I'll get one sent to you soon. Why do people just want to wear it as a hat? I haven't tried it as a hat. Mine are dirty. I probably shouldn't put it on as a hat. I love it when he goes into his evil setup. Gonna start off by making the cute oh. little plaster guy. He actually did the mold first. Yes, Graveyard Loon, yes. <laughs> you went, you're the first one who prepped the mold first. Kudos. Here's the Nyan Cat. I'm gonna push it towards you. There you go. You have it now. I measured out some plaster and threw that into the bowl. Jackie said you don't have to be exact, so I'm sure if even half of it ended up outside ooh, the bowl, ooh. I'm sure it'll be fine. No, it won't be fine. It won't. Oh no, I paused at the right moment. No, it won't be fine. Don't mess up half of it. A little bit is fine. I jammed the funnel into the head and poured in the- No, don't jam it in. Just leave it on the top, hover with one hand, and put it there. Shoving it right in the middle is going to make it so you can't lift and look. And don't let the plaster go all the way up. Just have a nice consistency to go into the hole. Yes. 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 It honestly looked perfect, but then I got a little too excited and snapped his arm. No! Let's just pretend that didn't happen. Sorry. It's okay. No, it's not okay. I saw it all. I saw it all. I saw it all. My character will not be having an antenna. <laughs> Absolutely not. Though I think he would have made a cool Tinky Winky. Now I wish I had made a Tinky Winky. No, do not dishonor my kid by making a Teletubby. Don't do it. I'm planning on making a necromancer today, a cat necromancer to be more specific. I wanted to make something truly, truly evil. That is really cool. I absolutely love the fact that he's adding the clothing to it on the outside. I sanded him down a bit and then started adding some more details. He's going to be carrying a spell book. Oh, I absolutely love the fact that it has a cloak, it's a cat, and there's a spell book. That's my kind of creature of darkness. I wanted to give him a staff in his other hand. I used some floral wire and epoxy sculpt for it. Great job. That's that's an actually good idea for the staff by using just the armature wire and the clay. I then added his tail with epoxy. After that, I used some more epoxy to add some more details here and there. He's really using everything in the kit. That is making me so happy. I love the fact that you're using the epoxy because the, epo the fun part about the epoxy is that you can add the extra details or the parts that would be more fragile. Fragile. And you want it to be way sturdier, so you go ahead and use that because when it hardens, it's rock solid. I've never used resin before, so I really wanted to give it a try. I was a little scared things might go south. Surprisingly, it was very easy. Yes. I don't know why I thought using resin was going to be way harder. UV resin especially is a great way to start with resin. So I would recommend UV resin first because it's small. It's just very user friendly. So what I'm doing is making a little scepter, like a little crystal ball for the top of his staff. Smart. I saw this picture on 
Google of this cat necromancer who has fish and bones on his staff. I just stuck it to the top of his staff and then he was ready to- This is so smart and creative! Jackie included this really pretty purple color. It's like metallic and looks really metallic. I just had to use this metallic purple. I love how everyone is in love with this pearl violet color. It is my favorite for a reason, and that's why the majority of the head of my character was this color. I think this kit is honestly perfect for me because it's what I love doing, and this figure is much more customizable, and the best part is that you get to keep the mold, so I can just keep making as many of these figures as I want. You're such a sweetheart. You just described everything about my kit that I've intended it for it to be. That is really sweet. That is- um, I mean- Creatures of darkness. I added some red to him. I felt like it clashed with the gold because it kind of made yeah. it look like it just doesn't fit. It was like cheapening the look, so I got rid of it. I originally tried going over it with some black, but it was blending in too much, so I used the same light brown color that I used for his satchel strap. I think that's a good idea. The red definitely clashed with this with this actual piece. I love the skulls. Oh my god. This is editing loon from the future. A little bit after I finished the video, this mostly black kitten was roaming the hall way outside my apartment and then scratching on my apartment door. Did he just get a kitten? Oh my god, Graveyard Loon, you got a baby! You projected him into the universe. But here he is. <laughs> Uh, yes, baby! Say hi to Sniffledorf. Oh, Sniffledorf. I think Sniffledorf is a perfect evil name, so that's his name. Sniffledorf. This is such a beautiful piece. Oh my god, Graveyard Loon. You really tried to use a little bit of everything. You got over the fact that you may have been intimidated by the resin, but it turned out really well. I love the fish and staff. Next we have my other great artsy friend, Chloe Rose Art, whose video is called Not Another $150 Craft Kit. The Nerdy Craft Box. <laughs> and I love her face in the thumbnail. It really does make Salty Craft a very pro. Chloe, you have appealed to my saltiness. And for those of you who don't know Chloe, she is absolutely hilarious. We call each other the Canadian and British version of each other. I love her so much. And if anything, I am expecting a lot of quirky accidents in this video, simply because Chloe is quirky and very accident prone like I am. All right, let's get started and see what she makes. Like squish it onto his hand. No! <laughs> That was such a heavy hand, Chloe, what did you do? <laughs> Today, I am going to be testing out a $150 crap kit. <laughs> well, you know what? That was the worry. The worry was that this would just be called the crap kit, and uh, you've confirmed it, basically. Actually met Jackie physically in person two years ago. Oh, no. Me. That picture took me by surprise. Oh, Chloe, I miss you. We met in person during VidCon. We met so many of the art and craft community. We met... Why am I tearing again? No! <laughs> oh, my God. So, I met so many people in the art and craft community, and Bailey took a vlog of it. I'll link that down below, but you can see how we were just standing in a circle, meeting each other. That was just one of the best times, I would have to say, in my life, meeting the people that we just got along so well on the internet, and then off the internet, it just clicked immediately. So, ah, uh, I love this picture so much. I'll tell you what, this lady gave me the biggest, warmest hug, and it was like we were old friends in an instant we just became instant friends we actually planned to do a collab in march of 2020 and we all kind of know what happened and tickets were bought accommodations were done plans were already in the way i was ready to feed chloe egyptian foods but yeah because like she said kind of know what happened she has been working on this for so long and i just know it's gonna be Amazing. Yeah, we've worked on this box for two years, and the only reason I decided to work with- sorry, <clears throat> I'm not choked up anymore, I'm okay now. <laughs> the only reason I decided to work with Smart Art is because of the quality that they were really into when it comes to Jazza, and I know Jazza is an absolute stickler when it comes to quality. I'm like, hey, if they can satisfy Jazza, they're definitely my people too, and they did not disappoint. I'm so proud to work with them. Oh, it's got quite a little note. I got a little note, and it's Sleeping Beauty themed. This is so cute, a little. I specifically chose Disney for Chloe as the little letter that's in the box because Chloe's a huge fan of Disney. So I'm like, you know what? I do have stationery with Disney. This is my first Jackie signature. So I'm gonna frame this next to the Jazza one. 
because I'm the ultimate fangirl for other YouTubers. Ooh, what the heck is that? I have, what is that? It looks like a stick with some sandpaper on it, which is essentially it, it, what it is. It's, it's a sanding stick. So it's a stick with sanding paper on it. <laughs> I feel like you're writing essays like my students. This essay is about this book. This book is by this author, which we will discuss in this essay. <laughs> Redundancy. It's close to home. I love you, Chloe. We have a silicone mold. This is so exciting. We're going to be like having something made. I believe this isn't going to be a resin figurine. She did tell. So it's not a resin figurine, but she's pretty close. Well, in terms of the figurine in there, it's plaster. That's the figurine. I'm so excited to try this because I've literally never done it before. Now, what I saw based on the pictures was that we're gonna create the little figurine and then add some like Sculpey or something to it and make our own figurine. That was my guess anyway, based on what I saw. That's a pretty good guess. Okay, so next up, we have a little spatula. Again, in Jackie Orange. <laughs> Jackie Orange. I love that it's called Jackie Orange. It is my favorite color. And you know, it's part of my banner. So yeah, I guess it could be called Jackie Orange. Also, it represents Michelangelo from the Ninja Turtles, so definitely biased, 100%. I feel like this is like a slappy stick, so you go around slapping people with it if they use the kit wrong. <laughs> Am I gonna have to use the slappy stick on you, Chloe? <laughs> I love the slappy stick thing. Not that I have used it as a slappy stick. And then UV resin by Sophie and Toffee. So we are gonna be using a little bit of resin today. I need to find my big, like, respirator thing. So I'm going to just let you grains know that if you are using resin in tiny, tiny quantities like this one, if you absolutely want to use a mask or anything like that, totally go for it. But according to research online, it's shown that it's not necessary, especially if you're not using it professionally in a setting all the time, tiny bit. And if you want to be extra careful, you can even use it outdoors. But it is UV resin and you're just using like four drops. So that was everything inside of the box. I am so impressed. Impressed. You absolutely get your money's worth with these products because you literally have everything you need. I know that I do say includes everything you need and I could have personally probably added at least six or seven more things, but that would have just been overkill because I, I'm like, I want this one and I want that one. There's always things to add. I would never end if I were to make a super ultimate hyper giga kit, but I was like, we stop it there. You can create everything you need with everything inside. We have 200 millimeters, millimeters, milliliters. Milliliters, not millimeter, millimeter. Okay, so we need 200 milliliters of plaster. I'm gonna do it over here so I don't breathe it in. I love how so far, Ace of Clay and Chloe have gone straight to mixing the plaster without checking that the order is prepare your mold first. <laughs> Prep your mold. The plaster dries so quickly, so the mold needs to be ready before you put the water in. Is she gonna put the water in? Please don't. Now I need three ounces of water. We wait. You only have five minutes before the plaster thickens. Okay, so I need to. I need to like start mixing this quicker. Okay, so what we're supposed to do and what should I please everyone do the mold first. Go in the order. Do the mold first. No. I'm just gonna use all of them. I don't know if I need to. I'm guessing I do. We're just gonna kind of. <laughs> She went, she just went all out with all the rubber bands. It's hilarious. Stick it in there. Now we're just gonna literally pour it. No. Is it full? <laughs> I can't tell. <laughs> so she's shaking the character. She's holding the mold. Everything that the instruction said not to do. This is very exciting to watch someone else use the kit. So there are instructions, there are videos. Please do watch them. <laughs> oh. <laughs> It says shake the mat gently. So we are gonna use the resin now. I absolutely love the fact that she decided to go ahead and use resin. Chloe's the type of person who definitely goes outside of her comfort zone, which is so fun to watch. No, look how cool that is. I made a little man, look at that. I'm really happy that Chloe's happy with her little figurine, even though there were some spillages a little bit of here and there. For someone who did it for the first time, it actually turned out as an actual character. Just follow the instructions next time. And it can be like a galaxy exploring deer thing. Is she actually gonna make a deer thing? Cause I did a moose thing. Oh, she's using the liquid Sculpey, yay. So she's definitely using the liquid Sculpey. I'm super happy with that, great. Maybe he can have like in his hand, a ball of clay. I'm gonna just like squish it onto his hand. <gasps> this is the second time I'm 
seeing this one every single time. The forest needed to break this off? Holy carp, Chloe. You've got some strength. What can I give him instead of an arm? Because I've just broken it off. Well, if you want to do like Ace of Clay, you could definitely give it like some kind of weapon. <laughs> Well, maybe, maybe you should have a little sword. Yes, now you're thinking. Weapons, swords, staff, bows. If you wanted to shave down the popsicle sticks to make them into actual props or sculpt around the popsicle sticks, the possibilities are endless. Okay, so he needs to be holding it like there. Okay, my sword doesn't look as cool as it did before, but unfortunately, I'm not sure how to fix it. I find that one of the things that doesn't translate well to people who are, generally speaking, more artists than crafters or sculptors is the fact that artists forget gravity. I know this sounds really silly, sorry Chloe, I'm just saying, I'm putting it out there. When it comes to sculpting, gravity is our worst enemy. So we have to take in consideration everything is gonna end up falling unless it's really secured in there. So I'm a little worried, but I'm very hopeful. The Sculpey on the figurine, as you can see, <laughs> I don't think she used the liquid Sculpey. That's why it fell off. Oh, Chloe. Okay, I'm gonna glue this on again. Maybe the thickness of the Sculpey here was a little bit too thick. That's why I didn't fully cure. Yes, now it's gonna stick. I actually really, really like that a lot. It's gonna probably look a little messy. I love the fact that she's adding the antlers on there and then she added extra bits of there, of, of the little spikies. Yes. She's made so many little resin pieces. Good for her. Probably this size, just some casual little eyeballs. And <laughs> casual eyeballs. Do I have casual eyeballs? I think my eyeballs are less than casual. Ooh, you know what? I kind of want to. I kind of want to use the purple now. Maybe I'll try it on his. <gasps> Ooh, you know what? Little purple antlers. That purple is my favorite. It's a shimmery purple, and I even use it on my own character, and that's why it's part of the set, basically, because the set of paints are my favorite colors. Ooh, she's going for a dark character. And as you can see while she's painting, the majority of the colors only needed one coat. Unless, again, you're working with yellows, those will definitely need, need multiple coats. Oh, interesting. Been at this for hours, and I'm actually scared if I attempt or go back prior to the painting and attempted to like put that over the eyes that they would like mess up or something. <laughs> Oh, Chloe, I'm so sorry. Sculpting is so hard. Yes, I know, but you went into it head first. You just dove straight into it, and I really admire that. Like, I can't draw, and you people make it look so easy that I admire you for that. I love the Rudolph look. Oh my god. No! <laughs> Chloe, no. If you ever need to smooth down your clay, use the liquid clay. If you ever need to smooth down the epoxy sculpt, you can go ahead and use water. So you have those options. There you go. No! <laughs> Oh, poor Chloe. I actually really love this eye look. It looks like a forest earthy spirit, like a like a suit sprite. You know those suit sprites in Ghibli movies? It has that vibe to it. it. It was a challenge, I'm not gonna lie. I had a lot of setbacks during this video. I love that her desk looks like my desk after a craft session. And my sister Sika gives me quite a bit of a hard time at the mess, but that's basically what my desk looks like. Chloe, you did such a great job. This is your first ever figurine. All right, so here we are a few days later and Bailey J posted her video using the craft kit. I am super excited to see it. But before we go on, let me put my glasses on so I can pro Oh, why is it dirty? Yeah. I feel like I'm getting resin and slimes and things on my glasses that no normal person should have. Maybe it's me. Okay, I got my glasses. Now I can judge and now I can extra judge. <laughs> So Bailey's video is called Sculpting My Fall Guys Character Using Nerdy Crafters Craft Kit. I've been popping in and out of Bailey J's streams on Twitch, so if you're interested, I will leave also all her links everywhere down below. Please support all of the artists that we're looking at today. And here we go. Hey guys, so today's vlog is going to be heavily centered around the... <laughs> Not another crap kit by Nerdy Crafter in collaboration with Smart Art. Jackie sent this to me, so thank you so much. <laughs> 
It's a craft kit. It's full of art supplies. I don't even know what's in here because I have refused to watch any videos about it because I want to be surprised. I feel like that's a common theme among many of us arts and craft people is we love surprise. Most of us love surprises. So even when Jazza's kit had come out, I was like, I am not watching anyone's review until after I unbox it. I really wanted to be as genuinely impressed as possible. I'm going to be sculpting one of my Fall Guys outfits. Cyber biker or something? That's actually a really good design. I'm very interested in seeing how she's going to execute this design with the big head that the character has, or is she only going to use the clay portion of this kit? Okay, okay, okay. <gasps> oh, I think that's supposed to be Kiki and Mid now. Bubbles. That's exactly why I chose those stickers. I was like, Kiki Midna. It's as close as I could get with those with stickers I have. <gasps> Holy carp, there's a sticker. Hugs, Jackie, nerdy crafter, aw. <gasps> An angel says hello. Oh, <laughs> with the little bite, aw. I have a piece of paper officially bitten by angel. <laughs> That's basically Angel's way to say, hey, you know what? I'm going I'm going to give you my signature. He wanted to make sure that he was part of it. And Bailey got the limited edition Holy Carp sticker, which is one of the prizes that some of you greens might get in the kit. What on earth? <laughs> she said what on earth. No, Bailey, you have no idea what on earth is gonna happen now. This is the reaction I'm waiting for because she has no idea that this mold is the thing. This is huge! Oh my god, it even says copyright nerdy crafter on it. Excel sanding stick. Wait, what the heck is this? I didn't even know these existed. Is this just like a regular? Wait, but yeah, yeah, it's a knife. <laughs> Me confused by everything. <sighs> Holy carp, Jackie. <laughs> this is a lot of stuff. A lot of this stuff is going to take a lot of research on my part and yeah, I already planned out what I'm doing. So the other stuff I will use in the future, but just for today's vlog, it's going to be a sculpture using <laughs> like the clay, the paints, the sculpting tools, that kind of thing. And that's totally okay. This kit is made so that you can explore it however way you want. Be creative however way you want whenever you're ready. So I've printed off reference images and they're horrible. It's okay. This gives me at least the shape. And then if I want to see the proper colors, I can look over at my screen. Over Oh no, Bailey, no, no! Don't try to take big chunks out of clay. So I highly recommend that you take small pieces at a time, knead small pieces at a time. Don't take chunks, Bailey, no, your hands, your fingers, oh no. That's a pretty good peanut looking character. And then while that was baking, I started on arm. I'm trying to carve little fingers. It's a work in progress. Hands are some of the hardest things to sculpt too, not just to draw. Actually, I think the first hand I ever sculpted was the hand of the king from Game of Thrones, and I even did a tutorial, but I don't even know if it's still out on my channel. It was really challenging, but it was really fun to, to try. So she's using the sanding stick on the actual figurine. Interestingly enough, I haven't used the sanding stick on the figurine. I only used it on the plaster, but you know what? You get it. I hope she's using liquid clay, by the way. In order to stick baked clay and non-baked clay, you absolutely need liquid clay. It's giving me nesting egg vibes so far. Here's progress. It's, it's looking so good. Cute. It is absolutely adorable so far. Oh no. When I went to pick it up, I broke off the arm. No. Oh, that is a really odd spot for it to break. I thought it would break off the shoulder. Oh, I think I know what happened. So clay gets softer before it gets harder in the oven. So probably what happened is the angle that it was at made it so that when it became warm again and it was slightly flexible, it just snapped off. I don't know if it's because the foil pushed up, because see how the foil's under the arm? Or maybe just the way I grabbed it. Ugh, I don't know, I, I just shouldn't have touched it. <laughs> never, 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 never touch clay when it's warm. It is so fragile, kind of like my heart. Very fragile, it could break at any moment. <laughs> so I've been making sure to underbake slightly, but that could have contributed to the snap, who knows. Never underbake your clay, because if you underbake it, there's a chance of it getting even more flexible. I would say at least if you're going to do multiple layers at least 20 to 25 minutes minimum per that layer. I'm so happy with the hair. I, it it's super terrible. cute Bailey I'm so sorry it's, it's okay. gotten like broken. All varnished all finished up. Oh my god it looks so cute Bailey this is so detailed I absolutely love it. I'm leaving it as is with no stand 
So yeah, that's the bean. The sculpture was surprisingly exhausting and it really hurt my neck because I was like loose the whole time. But <laughs> sculpting is honestly way more, I think, tiring than any other art form I've tried. But at the same time, the end result is always super rewarding. But take your time. If you want to finish a project within a couple of days, keep it super simple. But if you want to make a big, big, bigger project, give yourself at least, I would say at least a week, depending on how detailed you want it. Trying to sculpt when you're in a rush, like most of us are on YouTube do is gonna be exhausting. And after this video was recorded and edited, Jazza had a live stream where he used my craft kit and I hung out with him for just a little bit. I will link the finished video that he's going to have with the creations down below. This was really fun to record. I absolutely loved seeing everyone's creation thus far. Obviously by the time this video is out, more people are going to make their videos. So I'm super excited to see what they make. Again, don't forget to check them out. All the links will be in the description box below. Let them know and give them so much love. This was so fun. And of course, be sure to watch the entire video because I had to skip parts to make sure that you grades also watch the video. If you want to watch my crafty interpretation check over here and if you want to watch a review or me experimenting with weird things make sure you check down here especially if you're into watching me tattoo for the first time it's right there until then i will see you grains in the next video